In most of my videos on parallel parking, I show you how to park in three main steps. Align your side mirror with the mirror of the vehicle to your side. Reverse until you see its license plate aligned in the middle of your passenger window. Then reverse until you're parallel with the sidewalk. That second step where you align the other vehicle's plate in the middle of your window is what will determine the distance you have from the sidewalk. And that's the step I'm going to discuss in this video. I put the link for the main parallel parking video and a few other useful ones in the description of this video. I've had a few comments from people saying that they're either too far from the sidewalk or that they keep hitting it when they try this method. So let's imagine that the plate of the other vehicle extends to our passenger window like this. The more I reverse, the more I'll see the plate to the left of my window and the closer I'll be to the sidewalk. The more I advance, the more I'll see it towards the right of the window and the further I'll be from the sidewalk. Here from inside the vehicle, reversing closer to the sidewalk, plate moves to the left, advancing away from the sidewalk, plate moves to the right. So with that in mind, if I'm too close to the sidewalk, I'll need to align the plate more towards the right of my window before reversing. And if I'm too far, I'll need to align it a bit more towards the left. Now this method usually works well when both vehicles are more or less the same size, especially compact vehicles, which are the most common ones and also the ones mostly used by driving schools. But here are a few factors that can influence your distance from the sidewalk. First is if you're aligning yourself with the vehicle of a different size. When I parked next to this car, I was at the right distance from the curb. Now let's say that I want to park next to that bigger vehicle in front. Since it's wider than the other vehicle, its plate is also further away from the sidewalk than the plate of the other vehicle, let's say one foot. So if I align myself with it, I'll also be one foot further away from the sidewalk than I was with the other vehicle. Hence, I'll be too far from the sidewalk after the whole maneuver. So in this case, I should align the plate a bit more towards the left of my window. In other words, I'm moving closer to the sidewalk. Now the opposite is also true. Let's say that I am the one parking the bigger vehicle. If I align the plate in the middle, I'll probably hit the curb since my vehicle is wider and longer. So in this case, I should align the plate a bit more towards the right of the window, further away from the sidewalk. Usually, the bigger the vehicle, the more towards the right you'll need to align the plate. Sometimes even past the passenger window if you have a really big vehicle. So vehicle size is one factor that could influence the result. Something else that can cause you to be too far or too close is if you lean too much forward or backward when aligning yourself. Most of the time students lean forward because it's something we tend to do instinctively when we want to look at something more closely. Here I'm stopped and I see the other vehicle's plate aligned with the middle of my window. If I lean forward, I see the plate more towards the left. If I lean backwards, I see it more towards the right. So if when aligning myself, I'm leaning forward like this, I won't see the plate in the same position as I would see it when I move my body back in my natural driving position. So try to keep your head in your natural driving position when aligning with the plate. If then you're too close or too far from the curb, try the maneuver again while aligning the plate in a different position in your window, but make sure to keep your head in the same position as before. If your head is in a different position every time you try, you'll always get different results. After you've aligned with the plate, then you can move your body whatever way is necessary to do your maneuver properly and safely. And another thing that might have an influence is the vehicle itself. For example, if the vehicle is a four-door, a two-door, the width and configuration of the windows, the height of the vehicle, and so on. Also, if the other vehicle is too far from the curb and you use it as a reference to align yourself, you'll probably be too far from the curb too. So something else we should do before parallel parking is to check the distance from the sidewalk of the vehicle we're aligning with. If it's too far, we align its plate a bit more towards the left of our window. Now, if you can't see the plate, try to align the center of the other car in the middle of your window. In this case, I align the logo. In reality, that's what we've been doing all along. When I recommend you use the plate, it's because it's a lot easier to use as a reference since in the vast majority of vehicles, it's positioned right in the center. If you're parking next to a vehicle that doesn't have the plate in the center, align the center of the vehicle in the middle of your window. Now, being too close or too far from the curb could be due to one of those factors, a mix of some or all of them, or maybe even some different ones that I didn't cover. 
There are just too many variables in this situation. The thing to remember is, if you're too far from the curb, align the other vehicle's plate more towards the left of your passenger window. If you're too close, align it more towards the right and try to keep your body in the same position every time you align yourself, which should be more or less your natural driving position. And the reference point trick works for any reference point you use. I like to use the plate, but if you use another method where you align with, let's say, the left back light, same thing. Basically, the more the reference points move towards the left, the closer you're getting to the sidewalk, the more they move towards the right, the further away you're going. Next video, how to park at 90 degrees with a reverse camera. So stay tuned and see you soon.